All right, boys, this is it. This, this is, this is not, not my new PC. That's actually my old PC. I already have my new one set up and I wanted to record a video on it. I was planning on doing like a setup and unboxing video, but I just honestly, I was so done with it at this point. I kind of wanted to make a full video just going through everything I went through to get this new PC. Cause this is actually not my new PC. This is my new, new PC. The fuck? I'm gonna go into detail on what that means because I actually bought one before this one and it just did not work oh fuck oh no i went through so many hurdles just to get this computer and at the end of the day when i got it i wasn't even like that super happy i mean I'm, i've been through so much at this point so i just want to tell you guys exactly what i went through but first we're gonna be playing some call of duty of course all right so we're on modern warfare 2019 and i wanted to get on this game because they actually just added a new gun it's probably at the very bottom yeah the cx9 it's pretty much the scorpion from black ops 2 if you guys ever played that but uh yeah it's a really cool gun and my buddy owns one in real life and i've shot it before it's really cool i'm pretty sure it's a nine millimeter it's pretty much like the iso or the finnick it's it's one of the faster shooting ones but we're gonna try it out today and i want to see if i can rank it up so i can get all the attachments and whatnot okay so this new gun kind of shreds but it runs out of ammo so quick it's pretty much everyone just using the new gun getting higher frames does not make me a better player at this game i mean clearly i'm still getting trashed but yeah, man, I've been looking to get a new PC for the last like two months. Like I had it in my head. I was going to get a new one because I wanted to, you know, play at higher frames on Call of Duty and Warzone. And it's pretty much just Warzone that I want a new computer for because I can play every other game in multiplayer fine. But Warzone, where'd my gun go? I literally lost my gun. I can run every multiplayer game fine, but Warzone is the one that really tanks my FPS. And I was only getting like 60 with my old computer. If I would have outplayed him, that would have been bad. So yeah, I essentially got a new computer just to play Warzone. And as my buddy Marvel said, I bought a $2,000 PC for a free game, essentially. Not my proudest moment, I will say. It's not my proudest moment, but hey, it's my money. Use it when you need it. Buy my money and I need it now. It's my money and I need it now. Hey, Pippa K, shut the fuck up. So yeah, for two months straight, I just did research on like PCs and looking up like which one could run Warzone at high frames. And that's pretty much what I was basing it off of. And I went to this company called iBuyPower and it basically lets you customize a PC to exactly what you want. And then they pretty much get all the pieces together and build it for you. It was a really cool website and I actually liked customizing it because I had an FPS counter for like Warzone. So it was perfect. Like it was giving me like an average of what I would get on warzone for frames it wasn't a very accurate average but it was still a good average okay what am i doing here so i was using that to calculate what i needed and i pretty much got a really really good uh pc with like a 3070 ti and an intel i7 processor i actually learned a lot about pcs from the from the process hello okay i have no attachments and i'm still doing really well with this gun this gun pretty much shreds Hold on now. No! So yeah, I did all this research and I put in a lot of uh, hours just pretty much looking up to see which computer I wanted. I knew I wanted a 30 series graphics card because those are the new latest and greatest, but they're so freaking expensive and hard to find right now because of the market. For most pre-built, like the graphics card was like 90% of the price. Like it's crazy because you look at online, just a 3070 graphics card costs more than my current PC. So finding a pre-built with like good pricing was, uh, it was definitely, definitely a challenge. So that's why I had to uh, do all that research. Dude, I'm loving this game right now. Imagine just a nuke, just dropping a nuke right now. Yeah, the graphics card were super overpriced and they still are like, they're still in a huge shortage, but uh, I was able to like, damn, he, he actually did that. 
So I picked all the parts to build it and they took like a month to ship it. And I was, I was super like, I was super pumped about getting one, but at the same time, I hated like the weight. You know, you always hate the weight. But leading up, I was super excited. I'm like, I'm gonna get a new PC. I'm gonna be happy, all this stuff. We'll be playing Warzone. And it finally came in the mail and I was so freaking excited. I couldn't set it up the first day because I had work. So I had to set it up the next morning and I actually got it all fully set up and everything. Turned it on and it was fine. Like everything worked great. I played for like a couple hours the first day and then I had to go to bed. Fast forward to the next morning, I wake up, go turn the PC on and it wouldn't turn on. Like. The PC itself turned on, but I got no display on the monitor. So I was essentially turning on the PC, but could not get any display on the monitor. And there was like blinking lights on the motherboard. So I had to do some research and it turns out the lights from the motherboard was indicating that the graphics card has actually gone faulty. And it was technically DOA, dead on arrival. It didn't die on arrival, but it died after, you know, 24 hours. Dude, this new freaking gun is shredding. I, I haven't even looked at what attachments. Whoa, why can't I? Did they get rid of the the thing where you can change attachments mid game? It must be glitched. I don't know why. That's weird. Yeah, guys, I turned my computer on and I could not get a display. And I pretty much did troubleshooting for like five days straight because when I got the PC, it was a Thursday turned it on Friday and it died. And over the weekend, the company isn't working. So I literally couldn't email or call anyone because they were closed. So I was pretty much stuck by myself trying to troubleshoot this without any help whatsoever. I did so much research on it and like just looked up the problem, looked up the motherboard and I tried so many different like troubleshoot tests and I just never could get it to work. Uh, but a couple guys from the community were actually helping me out. I'll put both of their Twitters on stream just to give them a shout out because they were really helping me through the process the troubleshooting process and I owe them a big thank you even though it never got fixed. They weren't able to email me back uh, until like that next Tuesday because they were out of the office or whatnot. And basically what they told me is they can give me a refund, but if I wanted to get a new 3070 graphics card to like replace mine, it would be up to like a month of waiting and I was not gonna wait that long. I was super devastated, man. I knew that I pretty much had to buy a new PC because it, and just wait and do all the process over again because it just was not gonna come in time. I definitely was not gonna buy from that company again because I had terrible customer support. Like it took forever for them to message me back. And then they told me there's gonna be a month. So I buy power did not have a good, good interaction with them. It just, I was just unlucky though. Cause I, you know, I just got a DOA PC. I did end up finding this one online. It's a pre-built from ABS and I pretty much got this one. It is a 3080 graphics card with a Ryzen 7 5800X processor. I can play a game, let's go. This is like my split quad feed or something. This gun shreds. I wish I could customize it like in game. What happened to that? Did they take that out? I don't know if I like this game for like going for camos. If I like this game or uh, if I like Cold War more, but I'm gonna throw uh, I'll throw, I'll throw the red on there. The red looks pretty sick. But yeah, guys, I just got the new PC, super happy. It runs great on multiplayer, runs flawlessly, getting over like 200 frames at times. And in Warzone, it does run pretty well, but at times it dips to like 120 frames. And that's because I'm running like OBS Streamlabs if I'm streaming. If I just play without OBS on, I can get 150 plus frames on Warzone, but right now I haven't been able to find a fix for that for streaming, it drops down quite a bit. I actually forgot to mention this, but I actually missed my like drop off for this computer. So I was on a walk with my dog when it came and I forgot that I had to sign it. Because I was on a walk, I missed the signature and I saw the UPS guy driving by and I got a notification on my phone saying like, you missed the signature. So I literally sprinted after the UPS truck and was able to catch up to him and say, hey man, I'm sorry, I was like all out of breath. I'm sorry, can you go back to my house and just drop it off? And he was cool, he was like, yeah, sure. I actually have a video on my phone, I might play it for you guys here. Finally, caught up to the UPS guy. Let's go. But yeah, man, dude, I went through hell and back for this computer and it's like a bittersweet ending because I finally have it, but at the same time, 
I still have a refund on that first computer, so I'm out like $2,500 right now. But hopefully we get that refund and I will be able to make more videos for you guys with this new computer. Tell me what you guys wanna see. If you wanna see Cold War, Warzone, Modern Warfare, anything. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good one. Leave a like if you like this video and subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys later. Deuces.